Hey guys, how you doing? It's Fraser here. Today we have a case study of a primer session that we're doing five hours before kickoff. Now guys, if you looked at my primer session video, you'll know that I did a lot of research on primers last year. We explored that over a month and we followed certain protocols. So suffice to say, this is something I'm very passionate about. It's one area where we bring in individualization into the program. And today I'm working with Mona, who's going through his power session five hours before he goes into a league game. And it's one of the most important league games that we have. So it's gonna be really fun. Let's go. Guys, also a special thanks to Vitruve who have sponsored this video. More on that later. So Mona is starting at Hooker today, just like last week. And he likes to do a primer session in the morning. He feels better subjectively and objectively when we controlled for a couple of performance markers last season. Again, if you want to check out that video, I'm going to link it here. So his session today consists of ground mobility for five minutes. He then goes on to a walking mobility series with a couple of A skips. After that, he has to do five meters of banded accelerations. But all I'm really looking for here is that he's got a bit of a lean and he has a high frequency in his knee drive. So after that, he's good to get on to the main part of the session. And of course, he's playing in five hours. So the main part of the session is very, very short. All he has to do is three sets of two of power cleans from the blocks superset with drop jumps for three sets of three reps. So in the cleans from the blocks, we're going at 65%, 75% and 85% of his one RM. We're informing that process with the Vitruve encoder, which is a linear positional transducer, which we can use to understand how much power we're actually putting into our power session. So it makes complete sense to link up a velocity based device when you're working on power. So you know exactly where you are for every single rep because as we know intent is key when you're trying to develop power or get an exposure to true power and not just go through the motions which is not what we want when we're five hours out from a game and trying to get a power stimulus or if we're trying to develop power throughout the week. So guys, something I talk about a lot on this channel and also at rugbystrengthandconditioning.com is a player's explosive profile. In my next video, we're gonna take a deep dive into what that actually looks like, give you some real world examples about how you can make changes to that and how you'll see those changes on the rugby pitch. But again, today we're looking at an isolated session so you get a really good understanding of why we're doing what we're doing. So for every um, rep, for every set that Mona has to do, I'm looking for every rep to be above 1.8 meters per second for his peak power and I'm giving him that feedback for every single rep so he's absolutely putting as much as he can into it. Now what percentage do we actually express peak power? Is it 60% of 1RM? 80% of 1RM? Different studies see different things. While there's a general consensus that there's a range where you can express your peak power, it's actually slightly different from person to person and that's why it's important to understand your individual explosive profile. Again, that'll be something we cover in the next video. Being an explosive rugby player is super important because rugby is a game that's characterized by high intensity efforts interspersed with low intensity activities like walking, standing, waiting for the ball if the forwards are doing the work in the line out and you're the 10, okay? So high intensity efforts are really, really important and developing your explosive profile for that is obviously super important if you want to be effective on the pitch. So I'm giving live feedback to Mona as you can see and if this wasn't a primer session, we would have probably continued on and used heavier loads. He was actually hitting 1.96 and two meters per second and his peak power here, so he was flying, which is exactly where we want to be on game day. And guys, that leads me on nicely to today's sponsor. So a huge thank you to Vitru for sponsoring rugbystrengthandconditioning.com and this channel because they offer a product that I really believe in and wanted to use here for my work at BLF Rugby Club. And I'm so grateful that they hooked us up with an encoder and now we can really drive the program forward in terms of affecting the boys' explosive profile and being even more accurate there. So if you want to learn more about how to use velocity-based training, then you can go and check out the video that I made. I said in that video that we're using Vitru going forward and there's a couple of good reasons for that. One, that I accuracy you get from a linear positional transducer, two, where they're placed on the market, and three, the company are very open and great customer care. I've had great experience with them. So thank you very much to Fitru for sponsoring this video. You can check out their website. I've left a link below in the description. And there's also a code there if you're interested in getting a linear positional transducer. If you're working one-to-one -one as a personal trainer, you want to take your programming to another level. Uh, if you're a strength coach, you'll need one, okay? And if you're a small gym owner, it's another great tool to have in your tool box. So check out the link in the description and use code FMT5 to get a discount at the checkout. 
Okay, back to the primer session. Now, when we're doing the drop jumps, I'm only interested in the springs. I'm interested in a super quick ground contact time, all right? So yes, we're only going from 30 inches, and Mona was instructed to hit the ground and be as fast as he can off the ground. Remember, he's a hooker, so he's not gonna be the springiest in the team, but he is doing a good job here. And look, one of the things that people do is they start to go from higher, higher boxes, okay? And that would change what we're looking for in the exercise, and that's absolutely fine if we're working on explosive of profile etc you're going to do depth jumps instead of drop jumps but here the purpose of the exercise is to be really quick off the ground so we have a loaded jump in the cleans and then we're going to the other side of the spectrum when we're working on, on velocity and power and we're doing an unloaded jump that has to be super super quick it's sub maximal and we're just looking for that quick ground contact time and guys after that Mona did absolutely nothing the session was done in 30 minutes so really the work he did was three sets of two on cleans from the blocks where he was going 65, 75, and 85%, getting his feedback and making sure we were on track with the Vitruve encoder, all right? And then he goes into three sets of three after each set of the, the cleans on his drop jumps. And that's it, session done, mischief managed, okay? That's what you want from the primer session. You want short, sharp, high intensity at the right intensity. Remember, if we were using 65% and he was going through the motions because I wasn't giving him, this was me, doing the, the third pill of the clean. Uh, if we were going through the motions and just doing 65%, you know, you could do that slowly, you could muscle it up, but because we had the Vitru linear positional transducer, every rep mattered and counted, so I was really happy with his approach and his performance today. And that's it guys, it's that simple. Again, if you want full details, go into the long format video I made, which takes a deep dive into every area and what we actually did last season for my master's thesis research. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope it's provided a little more insight into primers. If you have any questions, please do fire them into the comment section and I'll get back to you. And if you like this content and find it useful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up via the like button and also a subscribe, because that way you'll get more content like this. Thanks again to Vitru for sponsoring this video. I feel really privileged to be working with them on this video because I know how much it can be a game changer if you're trying to improve athletic performance and your explosive profile. Guys, that's all for now. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.